she knows who I am. Where's the other girl? This trailer is creepy. <laughs> it is The Exorcist Believer. Troy Taylor joining us. He's the author of the book, The Devil Came to St. Louis, not Georgia. Uh, <laughs> Troy, Troy Taylor, this is about the true story of the 1949 exorcism. Uh, the Exorcist Believer is a new film that comes out October 6th. It's the sixth one, you said. Yeah, yeah, it is. And the first one in 20 years. Um, it's celebrating the 50th anniversary of the original Exorcist film. And um, I think that it's something that's just stuck with us. I mean, 50 years, people are still going to see it. People are still watching it. They're going to go see this one, and I think it's going to be great. Um, you know, it's something that appeals to all of us, this this big battle between good and evil. And yeah. of course, for those of us in the St. Louis area, we've got the appeal of it being, you know, based on something that happened here. The original Exorcist was based on something from here in 1949. 1949, all right, so help us separate fact from fiction. What are, sure. some, what are some common misconceptions about the story and what is, what are the, what's the truth? Well, when William Peter Blatty wrote the original book and then of course wrote the screenplay for the movie, he had to change some things. Um, he, he turned it into a young girl, Reagan McNeil, who's possessed, but in real life, it was a young boy, 13-year-old boy from the Washington, D.C. area who had family here in St. Louis. His name was Ronald Hunkler. And um, he came here to visit the city thinking that he could get away from these strange things that were happening in D.C. around him, right. much like in the movie. Uh, so he had to change this around. And so some of the things that, that happened in the real case are not quite as dramatic. There's, there's no, you know, levitating on the ceiling and, you know, green spot, view, spew coming, spew coming everywhere. Yeah. And some of the things are different, but overall he tried to base it on reality. What are some of the most interesting things about the true story that maybe we don't see in the film? Well, I think that, that the fact that there were so many people involved, um, there were 48 witnesses to the real life exorcism. They all signed statements that said that they believed that it was genuine. Um, I mean, the church called it inconclusive, but I think that there were enough people involved who, who went to their graves believing that it was real. So in the, in the movie, of course, you've only got a couple of priests and it's a lot more violent, but right. even so, there was still a lot of violence that went on. They had to have people come in to, to help hold this boy down. Uh, when they moved him to the Alexian Brothers Hospital in South St. Louis, there would be four or five monks in charge of trying to keep him on the bed while the exorcism was going on. Wow, yeah. wow. And the home, of course, right here in St. Louis. Right. Uh, right. I mean, there are, there's there's lots, of, lots of interest in this story around yes, St. Louis. Definitely, I, uh, I can't talk about it enough. Um, I, I've had to add so many different presentations on this, this this year alone, but it's always been a popular one because people are so interested in whatever happens in their hometown, or at least close by. And when you've got Bel Nor and you've got St. Louis involved, you've got a lot of people. The book is The Devil Came to St. Louis. How can people get the book? Uh, they can go uh, to our website and see all about the different things. I mean, you can get it on Amazon and such, but you can go to altonhauntings.com and uh, that'll give you stuff about events we have going on and about the book. And uh, thank you so much. Yeah, for thanks. Being here. Yeah, absolutely. The Exorcist Believer, number six in the series, but the first in a trilogy right now. Yes. Uh, that opens in theaters October 6th. Keep it right here. We got more coming your way. It's Fox 2 News, 9 a.m.